Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I went ahead and created this beautiful, soft Valentine's Day makeup look. And I really like it. I feel like this is very soft. It's nothing too dramatic. Um, you can pretty much wear this anywhere. Maybe change up the lip a little bit, maybe do something a little natural. Uh, like I said, you can do anything you want with it. Um, it's just perfect for the special day. And also, I'm sure you guys have noticed that my backdrop has changed from that ugly, hideous, gray backdrop. Um, I picked up this beautiful, sparkly backdrop from Joanne Linens. And not only did I pick up this one, I also picked up a few more. So you guys are gonna see a lot of changes from here on out. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin. And I'm gonna be using my Emberly Skin Moisturizer. I'm applying an even layer all over my skin. And then I'm gonna take my Dolly Move Facial Serum and my MAC brush, the 150. I'm gonna apply this in the areas that I tend to get the most dry and it's usually around my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And then with a flat synthetic brush, I'm gonna take my Benefit uh, Cosmetics Eye Primer in Lemonade and I'm apply an even layer on both eyelids. And this is basically gonna cancel out any darkness that I might have there. So now taking a fluffy brush and my Makeup Forever Translucent Powder, I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit and apply this on both eyelids. And this is basically going to help with blending. Next, I'm going to take my Motives Cosmetics Love Element Palette and I'm going to take that lighter color and I'm going to use this as my transition color. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure to blend really well. I can't stress enough how important it is to blend your colors out. You don't want any harsh lines, so blending is key. So with the Morphe brush E27, I'm going to go ahead and start to blend out any harsh lines that were left behind. Now from the same palette, I'm going to go ahead and take the darker grayish color and I'm going to start to apply this on the outer V and then I'm going to go ahead and work it in. With my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, I'm going to take both Dust and Buds and I'm going to apply these uh, two colors all over my lid. Now before I do that, I'm, I'm going to make sure that my brush is wet and whenever you wet your brushes, it actually helps with the color payoff on your shadows. Now you want to make sure you only do this with shadows that are shimmery and not matte. With my favorite liquid liner from NYC, I'm going to go ahead and start to um, draw in my eyeliner. And I felt for this look, I wanted to do a little bit more of a thicker eyeliner. So usually what I like to do, if I'm going to use a gel liner, I like to use the gel liner first and then apply the liquid liner right on top of it. This is uh, going to ensure that I get a more nicer, crisp line. But because of sake of time, I went ahead and went with the liquid liner. Now with my Motives uh, Cosmetics Dynasty palette, I'm going to go ahead and take the black shade and I'm going to go ahead and intensify that outer corner just a bit more.
Now taking my favorite lashes at the moment from Jaclyn DeBiante in Paris Sunset, I'm going to go ahead and lightly start to apply my lashes. And I'm using tweezers. I felt like this is the best method to apply lashes. You want to start from the middle and then working them from side to side. So now for my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation in the shades Warm and Light Beige. And taking a flat kabuki brush from Sigma, I'm going to lightly pat the foundation into my skin. So now with a beauty blender sponge, you want to go ahead and basically pat and push the foundation into the skin even more. And this is going to give you a more even finish. And it's also going to give you that really nice airbrush effect. So now with my favorite um, highlight and contour palette from Motive Cosmetics, and this is the Sculpt Series in Ice, I'm going to go ahead and take the yellowish uh, shade and start to apply that underneath the eyes. And then also I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the uh, forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. And since it is a Valentine's Day look, I felt like it would be fun to just kind of draw little hearts in the areas that I'm highlighting. Now to set my under eye uh, highlight, I'm going to go ahead and lightly apply a layer of my favorite translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this only in the areas that I highlighted. Now you guys can go ahead and skip this step, but because I want my eyes to look a little bit more awake, I'm going to go ahead and take this concealer stick from LA Girl Cosmetics and apply this on my waterline. So now with a Benefit mascara called They're Real, I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my bottom lashes. And again, you can go ahead and skip the step, but I feel like whenever you apply mascara underneath um, on the bottom lashes, it just pretty much um, brings the whole look together. So after letting the translucent powder sit for about five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take a brush and just start to lightly dust off. Now taking a bronzer from Too Faced Cosmetics called Sun Bunny, I'm going to go ahead and start to blend this on the apples of my cheeks and on my forehead and I'm basically going to just give my face a sun-kissed glow. Now you want to be very careful when you apply your bronzer. You don't want to look over bronzed or muddy. Now taking Morphe's blush palette in the number 9B, I'm going to take that peachy shade and apply that on the apples of my cheeks, making sure to blend really well. 
Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood, I'm going to go ahead and apply this right above the cheekbone and also around the forehead area. Now if you are really oily, I would probably skip this step altogether, but if you must apply some highlight, just keep it very simple and uh, try not to go too crazy with it. Now with an Urban Decay eyeshadow called Saphir, I'm going to go ahead and apply this in the inner corners of the eyes and on my brow bone. Now with Tarte's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Twerk, I'm going to go ahead and apply an even layer on my lips. Now the reason why I went with this uh, particular shade was because I felt like it really brought the whole look together. Now you don't have to do a bold lip like this, you can go ahead and just keep it natural. everyone so this is the completed look if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to comment and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and happy valentine's day everyone bye bye